Evaluate the following. We have this expression, and is the answer A, B, C, or D? Pause the video, give it a shot. If you select a D, you are correct. And if you did select A, very common, but I want to show you where your mistake is. PEMDAS, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. It's the order of operations. And this is where we apply parentheses, then exponents, multiplication or division from left to right, and then addition or subtraction from left to right. Multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right. That is important. The same thing applies to addition and subtraction as well from left to right. But it's the multiplying and dividing that probably got you here. So in our expression, let's go ahead and take care of those parentheses. 9 minus 7 gives you 2. I'm going to replace those parentheses with a multiplication symbol because when you have a number right beside parentheses, that does mean multiply. However, as I just mentioned a moment ago, multiplication and division, you do whichever comes first from left to right. Which one comes first here? Division. We need to divide first in this example. You do not want to multiply first here. That will lead to that answer of 3, which is incorrect. Take that 48, divide by 8, you get 6. And then you can multiply that 6 by 2 to give you an answer of 12. That's why our answer is D. Now back to here, had you multiplied first 8 times 2, that would give you 16. And if you take 48 divided by 16, that's where you're getting 3. But again, that's incorrect. And the thing I want to stress here, with multiplication and division, you do whichever comes first from left to right. That is why we divided first here. Very common misconception. Some students think they're always supposed to multiply before dividing. That is not correct. And it is worth noting the same thing applies to addition and subtraction as well. Practice problems like this and all of the other goals and objectives for the math portion of the T7. Check out my math question bank with video solutions over at www.bcraftmath.com/qbanks. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful.